Hi there, my name's Cheers, or Shurs if you prefer, and welcome to this game called Enzo, A World Apart. I've given this uh, a little bit of a go, it's uh, it's an early access, indie, post-apocalyptic city builder, and it's it's pretty neat, I've <laughs> been, been enjoying it, so I'm going to show you a bit of it. We won't do any huge amount of tweaks yet, because I know there are some tweaks which make the game literally impossible, but we are not going to do those, We're just gonna, I'm just going to show you the game to begin with, because otherwise... It'll just be me screaming. I did try and record this before and I ran into a problem with water pretty immediately, so... Come on. Yes! Rainwater! Yes! I need water! <laughs> Please! I'm giving it another go. Angeli, this looks like a good place to settle. We need water and food. I can do both of those things because, oh my goodness, that's a big lake. That's going to make things very straightforward at least. So first things first, we need water. I've got mine. Delicious. Ah, uh, my plan, I thought that was a funny joke. I thought it was funny. It probably wasn't. Thank you. Oh, well. So, first steps, we need some water. And the best way to get water is to build a jetty to begin with. That's actually kind of in a bad place, so we're just going to move that slightly. We then need to assign some people to actually build the jetty using some builders. And while I'm actually, while I'm at it, let's build a little road to make them go a little faster. Just from here to, oh, look at that, that's perfect. Water is one of the very most important things that we need. We need water and we need food. And we also need no radiation, but, uh, and also confidence, but mainly radiation is a problem. And we will avoid that as much as I can, hopefully. Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Oh, these are the children. Children don't do anything. We just stand there and wait. Dun, 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 dun. Right, we now have a jetty. Now we need a place to keep the water. Which is a good idea, because otherwise you're just holding in your hands like this. That doesn't hold a lot of water. Ever tried to do that? Water just spills through the cracks. It's stupid. Why can't we have, like, waterproof hands? System. Now, I'm not going to build that too far away from the jetty, because... Well, they need to carry the water somewhere, and I don't want to make it too far away. I'm going to try and make it enough space for another water collection source later on down the road. Is that enough space? That should give us enough space for the other two water things that we need to do, of the well and the rainwater collector. Because if you get them all too crowded, then that's, that's lame. Reduce the number of builders, get some water carriers going. Get more roads. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so fascinated with roads, but it does make them walk a little bit faster. While they're building that, we need to worry about food, because currently we're not earning any food. And the easiest way of doing that to begin with is to build ourselves a little fishing hut. Make sure the right bit's actually in the water. We're going to stick that just about... I say just about here, I think. This looks like a good spot. And because we've done that, we now need to actually get some fishes, so we'll have one of those. There's our there's our cistern, it's going to be filling up, hopefully. Otherwise everything's going to end up in pain and sadness. Now the next thing we should probably also worry about is our food in terms of farms, so we're going to do something about that. Now I was learned I learned this yesterday. If I make it max size, it does run into a problem with trying to get an irrigator between two of them. So I'm just going to do that. I'm gonna leave a reasonable space. How big was the thing? It was like three, wasn't it? Yeah. And it's why is this too big? Am I running into a cliff? Can't quite see. I think I am running into a cliff, that's a shame. Oh well, the orchard will just be slightly smaller than I would have liked. Sadness. Leave a good amount of space for the other water thing. I can either do 13 by 15 or 15 by 14. Using some quick maths. Wait, that's dumb. <laughs> Not quite perfectly even, but we will work with that. We can get a couple of farmers if I actually had enough farmers. There we go. Food should now, hopefully, so I can make wheat or potatoes. Potatoes. Is that a potato? No, those are beans. Beans. Definitely choose the more food option. And you. Yeah, you just do that. 
So with normal food, you know, it, it's harvest every season, you have to replant every season. With orchards, it takes a little while for them to first be able to be grown, but then you don't have to replant them, so that's ideal. Until later on, anyway. We don't seem to be having much of an issue currently. I just have to wait until I actually get some more children to play this game with me. Maybe they will, but probably not. Just grab some water, put it in the thing. That would be an extremely boring job, but I mean... <clears throat> if you want to survive, you're going to have to do it. Weekly contaminated rain. So, we won't have to worry about this yet, but rain does become a bit of a problem <laughs> later on. It gets all irradiated and shit, and that's not very nice. <laughs> I just want to live, damn it. Right, we've run into the housing problem. We currently have 13 people who don't have houses. So, let's build ourselves some houses. I can't build a shelter yet. A shelter would be ideal, but I can't build that yet, so we will just have to ignore it for now. What if this is going to be too many houses? So each house can hold two adults, so that's 12 adults here. Six times two, that's 12. Yep, that sounds about right. So that should be good. Why have I got 13 people? Ah, it's because it counts the children as well. I don't know why, they're not useful. Why would I care about the children? What do I need to concern myself over now? So many things, but in this game... Um, I should probably worry about wood and scrap. Yeah. Go here. This seems like a reasonable place. That will <clears throat> clear some ground. We can all work and do some things. Now, some of the scrap you'll see needs a special building to turn. Because, like, this one, just for just for uh, little, little bits. This one needs a scrapyard. I don't have a scrapyard, but that's okay. We'll find one eventually. Or I'll build one. Nah, <laughs> might not do any of those things to be honest. So you can see here, this little doohickey has not got any people, but that's because I don't actually just have any normal people. So we're going to just reduce the water carriers by a little bit. Maybe reduce my builders and we'll start gathering some stuff. To upgrade this to actually be able to hold more, I need some extra bits and pieces, none of which I have, but that's okay. We will have to wait, won't we? Yes, wait. Sometimes waiting is the best strategy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you really need to do something. Come on, what were you thinking? Sometimes the builders seem to take forever, and I don't really know why. There we go. I think it's just trying to carry things from place to place, but like, the storage is here. So, I don't know why that seems to take them so long. Oh well. This game isn't perfect, don't get me wrong, but I think it's really good so far. Um, and it is an early access, there's a good little roadmap that's explaining exactly what they're trying to do, so... Give them the a benefit of the doubt for a little while. Unless they don't deliver on the things that they said they were going to deliver. That would be silly, wouldn't it? No wonder they're going so slow, they're not using the roads I built. What's the point of me building these roads if you're not going to use them? There you go, well done. Doesn't make them, like, super fast, but... I'd like them to at least try and use the things that I asked. It's rude otherwise. Ooh, we've got a big boy ruins over here. This is a lot of stuff to fucking get smacked down here. When you, um, ah oh yeah, here we go. So we talk a little bit about expeditions. When you get a bit later in the game, you can build an expedition camp. You go off and explore things. You do a little, like, a little, a little side quest sort of thing, which is kind of neat. You can see exactly what's been happening in these, in the world around you. Lots of death and destruction, I think. So to carry on building our lovely civilization, we need to start collecting some better scrap. Currently, we're earning just scrap, which is from all this stuff. But we need to be able to do something with that scrap instead of it just being scrap. Also, we're currently go undergoing a drought, which is not really ideal, but no, no, that's going to be, going to be a drought. I should probably start thinking about stockpiling food, but I think we should be okay. So, to start doing something with scrap, we A, should probably build a scrapyard. And a scrapyard is not allowing me to be built because I can't quite see. There. Scrapyard allows you to actually be able to mine some of the scrap, which is, seems not always available by bare hands, stuff like this. And also, the just natural gathering. 
Um, you don't have to place these little gather resource things. There we go, great. Change our field of work to be slightly better. This is not really a very good place to have built it, but like over here there's so much scrap. But over here is a lot of scrap. But we are working here, damn it, and that is what we will do. In the same vein, we need to actually do something with the scrap, and to do that we need to build some recyclers. Because recyclers are important. One, two, maybe a couple more. The only problem is I, th uh, I think that should be fine. Are these going to have difficulties being built? Yeah, scrap wise is a bit of a problem. Maybe I don't need to worry about those so much. Just a couple of couple of fiddles first. Build some build some scrap resources because recyclers change scrap into actual useful materials. And I can worry about trying to build logging. Do I have enough room here? I do. That is very good. No, wait, no, I don't. There's a big bloody cliff in the way. Looks like. Ah, the cliffs are getting in my way. Build you there. Let's do it. Water, we are looking pretty full. To upgrade this, I need charcoal and plastic. So that's why I'm trying to get these recyclers working, because they can change scrap into plastic, which will be helpful. If they ever did it. Please build. Yes. Right, you can produce... What should you produce? Cloth is fine. Actually, yeah, just do some cloth. All right. Well, things haven't all finished yet, but that's okay. We have got our little housing started, and we have started being able to refine. We got our Forester's Lodge. When that gets built, we'll actually earn some wood. We've got scrap yards. We've got some recyclers. Yes, I know I don't have enough people, but maybe they will turn up eventually. We've got water, and we got food. Everything is looking just fantastic. Next time, we will deal with the fact that a drought is coming and everything is going to die. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows. But yeah, I will leave it here for now and leave you to it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to pick up this game, you can because it's on Steam. Uh, there's a link in the description. If you want to see another video by me, you can click over here. If you want to see uh, more videos I've made, down here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can click down here. Hopefully, I see you in another video.